So you're thinking about buying an H easel. Well, let's go over what's good and what's bad about them. But more importantly, is it worth spending your money on an H easel? Let's dive into an H easel review. Right here is my large heavy duty H easel. If it looks familiar to you, that's because it should. It's the one that you see plastered all over Amazon generally ranging in prices from $100 to $200. Of course, depending on the size and features that you want. Mine is the US Art Supply H Easel, and it's pretty much the exact same thing as the Medan H Easel and all the other H Easels that you see on Amazon. So what is good about the US Art Supply H Easel and the Medan H Easel? Well, if it wasn't obvious, they can easily hold large canvases. They can accommodate standing or sitting painting with its adjustable heights. H easels can tilt for different styles of painting or painters out there. In fact, most can lay perfectly flat, which is great for making fine detail adjustments or adding blazes and varnishes. When you make any adjustments to your H easel, it's really easy to do due to its knob adjusting tightening system. Most H easels out there come with a shelf, making it easy to grab and store your supplies. Most come with caster wheels, allowing you to easily move the easel if you need to. Perhaps you need to move it into a corner for easy storage. H easels are generally made out of heavy duty wood that will make it last a long time. In fact, my H easel has been going on six plus years. And regardless of all the reviews that you'll see on Amazon or from other people, they are pretty easy to assemble. All right, so what are the bads or negatives about an H easel? Right off the bat, they are bulky. They will take up a good chunk of your room. And if you need to lift them, yeah, they can be heavy. Generally, they weigh about 20 to 35 pounds. Remember this if you buy one and have it shipped to your house. A personal pet peeve of mine is avoid H easels that have a front base crossbar. The reason why is it's in an uncomfortable position. And trust me, your feet and legs will hit it and kick it all the time, making your easel rock or there's just no comfortable place to put your legs. Try to find one that has a crossbar that's a little further back, making a clear section for you to comfortably sit or stand next to your easel or in front of your easel. If you plan on adjusting the height on your easel, the height adjustment hardware wears down over time, requiring you to come up with a kind of creative solutions like these clamps that you see here. And oh yeah, speaking of clamps, the hardware bolts and threads are very cheap brass bolts and threads that last about only a year. While you can easily buy replacements for like 30 cents, eventually the inner threads wear down that are on the easel itself, and they won't grab the bolts anymore, which requires you to invest into bar clamps and A clamps, which work great. In fact, bar and A clamps work way better than bolts, so I highly recommend that you get these. Over time, the easel will become wobbly, requiring you to retighten all the bolts and fasteners on the easel. So make sure you keep an Allen wrench and screwdriver handy. Now, would I recommend the US Art Supply H easel or the Medan H easel or any H easel for that fact? Yes, I would, provided that you purchase the heavy duty versions. Otherwise, the cheap ones are just gonna fall apart way too fast and become more of a headache, which means you're looking at spending around 150 to 200 USD. Plus, I highly recommend the bar and A clamps too, which is gonna cost you about another 25 to 50 USD. Now, if you plan on buying an HE, so the ones that I personally recommend and have used before, is the US Art Supply Malibu Heavy Duty Extra Large H easel, which is the one that you've been seeing in the video that I have here. And that comes in right around 200 USD. There's also the Miden Large Studio easel, which comes in right around 150 USD. And for an extra bonus, there is the Soho Urban easel, which is a great easel if you can find it under 150 USD. And this is a great starter easel. Now, the nice thing about the Soho Urban Easel and the Medan Large H Easel is they both can fold flat, making it perfect for if you have small space because it can go in a closet 
or under a bed. To make sure that there's no confusion on any of these H easels, I did you a favor and put links to all of them down in the video description so you can go right to them. And by the way, clicking on those links really helps out my channel, so thank you very much. And while you're down there, you can also check out my starter PDF. Now, if an H easel doesn't sound like it's the right step or move for you, because perhaps you only paint along with Bob Ross and do the wet on wet technique, then I highly recommend you check out the video over to my side that goes over the Bob Ross easel and shows you everything you need to know about it. I'll check you guys all later. As always, take care and of course, peace.